Welcome to Plug Life Television. Today we're going to be covering a topic which used to be asked fairly infrequently by people who were going away on holiday and leaving their EV parked up for a couple of weeks at a time, but given the global coronavirus pandemic, a question that has been asked an awful lot over the past few days. How do I look after my electric vehicle's battery when it's parked up for a prolonged period of time? During the coronavirus lockdown, many electric vehicles will be left parked up for a prolonged period of time. Some people may consider leaving them plugged in or charging them to 100%, but this is bad for the electric vehicle battery if the car is parked up for several weeks, because the electrolyte will degrade against the cathode, or positive terminal, when the cell is at high voltage. The best practice is to keep the battery at between 80% and 50% state of charge. 80% translates to a low enough voltage to prevent the electrolyte degrading over several weeks, whilst 50% is high enough to limit the chances of the battery being left for so long that it is over-discharged. Lithium-ion cells typically have a self-discharge rate of about 2% per month, but an electric vehicle battery tends to discharge faster than this due to the parasitic drain of the vehicle's electronics. For example, a Nissan LEAF may lose about 10 miles of range per month when parked up for prolonged periods of time but a Tesla Model S with power-hungry electronics, which has been left parked and locked in its default standby mode rather than fully shut down, may lose 10 miles of range per day. For cars with apps, the remaining charge in the battery can be checked from your phone. Some EVs, such as Tesla's and the Nissan Leaf, also have adjustable charging limits, so you can set the charge to automatically terminate at between 50 and 80%. Some vehicles offer the ability to adjust the charging limit via the app, whilst others can have their charging limit easily configured via the centre console. But what about cars that don't have this feature, and will require manual intervention to stop the charge at the desired state of charge? Take an example of a 40 kWh battery pack, where the car's battery is currently at 33% state of charge, and the owner wishes to top it up to 80% without overcharging it to 100%. The owner has a 7 kW home charger, and the car in question has a 22 kW onboard charger. Here, it is the lesser of these two values that is important to our calculation, since it will limit the maximum charging power received by the battery. The time taken to charge the car, in hours, is equal to the required energy divided by the charging power. The required energy is calculated by subtracting the battery's current state of charge from its target SOC, dividing by 100, then multiplying by the battery's total capacity. Here, our target state of charge is 80%, our current state of charge is 33%, our battery capacity is 40 kWh, and our maximum charging power is 7 kW. So, the battery capacity is to increase by 47%, which divided by 100 is 0.47, and multiplied by the battery capacity is 18.8 kWh. This, divided by the charging power, is 2 hours and 42 minutes worth of charging time. There has been some debate about the charging strategy for keeping an EV's battery topped up for prolonged periods of time, either giving the battery a periodic top up when required, or leaving the car plugged in. I personally keep an eye on the SOC of my car's battery at least once a week and top up when required. However, leaving the car plugged in should be okay as long as the 80% rule is adhered to, which entails that the car has the ability to set the charging limit to 80% in the first place. The battery management system should regulate the charging pattern to give a gradual top-up rather than continually feeding the car. It is also important to remember the car's 12 volt auxiliary battery, the same as what's found in any petrol or diesel car, which powers systems such as headlights, windscreen wipers and infotainment. This typically only gets charged up when the traction battery is engaged, so either when the car is fully switched on and ready to drive, or when the car is charging. So, in conclusion, during lockdown, try to keep your car's battery between 50% and 80% state of charge. Avoid keeping the battery above 80% state of charge to minimise electrolyte degradation and capacity loss, and definitely charge up the car to the recommended state of charge window if it is below 20%, to minimise the chance of over-discharging. If the car is currently sitting at between 50% and 20% state of charge, consider plugging in. Well, there we go. I hope that's answered your question. But more important than looking after your electric car, look after yourself and others. Stay at home, wash your hands regularly, only go out for essential groceries, and take COVID as seriously as it deserves to be. 
look after your key workers as well, not least doctors and nurses and everyone else in the NHS who's helping to keep things going at the moment. If you stay at home, you make their life a lot easier. And also remember to look after other key workers, not least people who work in supermarkets, couriers, sanitation departments, everyone else who's keeping things going through an incredibly difficult time. And to them, I thank you.